which Litecoin that you should use outside of Topaz signature Litecoin. So we are gonna look at it right away. I'm still in 1.4 right now, but uh, in the future, you can still use this video. So here we go. We're gonna straight forward to the uh, the main topic. First thing first, we are gonna look at the uh, three star white converse. Okay, so the first one, adversarial. This one is quite good for early game, but after uh, several update, this is not uh, like oh god, I don't know. No one should use this one anymore, especially you are already playing it like quite a quite a bit. You you gonna realize this not gonna be a, a light con that you should use, even with a super impulse five. I will use uh the three star light con with a super impulse five because it's quite easy to super impulse it. The the next one is darling arrow. This one is quite good. This is quite good if you don't have four or five star light con. But you you need to good character to defeat the enemy first. After that, you can have the stat like forty eight percent for three turn. Three turn is really really good, man. So yeah, this is uh, especially for a uh, F two P player who playing it uh or in early game. This one is quite good. Okay, and the next oh, and the last one. Or three star icon arrow. This one is really, really bad. You can see it here. At start of the battle, the wear critical rate increased by twenty four percent for three turn. If you play just a little bit, just a little bit, you can realize that this is not really, really fit for everyone. Like this is really, really scam. This is a meme, icon. So, I'm not gonna using it ever, man. From very beginning, I'm not, I'm not using it at all. So that's it for a three star light con. And now we are gonna go to the four star light con. First thing first, we we'll go to this one. Return to darkness. This one is a uh, battle pass, so you need money for this one. But this one is quite good with certain condition like give you a 12 percent critical rate especially if you are a whale or dolphin <laughs> you can have 24 percent critical rate and like third one third uh chance to dispel one buff in case that uh in your team you don't have uh the buffer but if you have like the buffer like uh, for example silver wolf this light con is lose its value even with a uh, like free character like Pela so just in case that uh, you have Pela or another character that can debuff enemy I don't think this is a good idea so the next one is Dunhang War Star uh, Signature Light Con. Only Silent remains. This one also really really good for uh, uh, early game. Like increase the wearer's attack by 16%. If there are two or fewer enemy on the field, increase wearer critical rate by 12%. This is for for early game is quite good. And using it only for that, huh? but the con is outside of that. This light con is kind of like, man, man, uh, I don't know, man. So, uh, the next one gonna be ah, here we go. Yanqing Chipo signature light con. <laughs> this light con is really, really like a um, match with Yanqing ability. That's the pro, but the con is because it's really, really uh, 
Ya ching uh, <laughs> Wait con It's not really good for anyone else Including Topaz So Ah oh man Especially the, the con is really really bad like here When the weather take damage This effect will disappear Man So it, It's really not consistent man and even you have Yanqing, I don't think this is a good idea. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, the next one is, ooh, I like this one. Subscribe for more. <laughs> I'm not uh, telling you to subscribe for me, but this one is really good. I using this light con for Danhang in early game, and this really, really good. Even with level 1, it's quite good. Like. 24% for basic and skill attack and uh, another 24% if the energy is reaching its max level. Other than that, huh, I think another uh, like Han character is really really good at their uh, ultimate. So I'm only using it for Dan Hang because Dan Hang ultimate is kind of like uh, like a. Uh, like kind of mid for me so i can use this light con and that's the pro but the con because we are using topaz i don't know man it's quite good we have a 24 percent but it's kind of like a uh, wasteful if you are not using energy especially energy is really really gonna pop up uh numbi so this is not uh, light con for top S. Okay, this is the last four star light con. Uh, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go, man. Oh, this is so, 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 so good. Light con for top S, man. Sword play. Sword, <laughs> Sword play. Not only for top S, but almost all hunt character, man. This is so good. With level 1, you, you can have uh, uh, up to 40% and, and, man, <laughs> if you can reach maximum level, you can have like 80%. This is really, really good for attacking boss, man. Especially with a top as uh, ability, uh, uh, like... Just focus on one character, aka in this uh, case is boss. This is so so good to destroy boss. But the con is we need five attack to reach this light con of max potential. That's a big a big uh, if if we are not uh, attacking attacking another character or another uh, uh like uh, uh in some case there's a double boss if you are attacking one boss and another boss like using buff to us a uh, debuff to us and we are changing our focus to another character another boss it's gonna be like in here like this effect will be dispelled when the wear change targets that's gonna be really really bad for us so uh, that's the con but it's quite worth it. Four star uh, light con for topaz. I really will really recommending this one. So that's that's it for four star uh, light con. Now we're gonna go to a five star uh, light con. Uh, except for the the five star uh, signature light con for topaz, uh, there's only two in here. So. If you have a hard light con, just use hard light con, okay? Uh, so, the first one is in the night. This light con is really, really good for almost all Han character, man. But it's quite wasteful for that Han. Huh? So, yeah. But the, the con is it's a bit wasteful for uh, Topaz because it's buff uh, buffing uh topaz but not nambi nambi have its own speed if i'm not wrong 
uh, the initial speed for Nami is 80, but not quite me. So, yeah, it's a bit wasteful. And also in here, critical damage for ultimate. The ultimate is not attack, it's just buffing Nambi attack. So it's quite wasteful. So you just need to using it for another character. So, of course, here we go, man. The only uh, five star uh, light con, except for the signature light con, that really, really good for Nambi and Topaz. Creasing in the stellar sea this one is so so easy for them maxing it out because this one can be uh, purchased in her style as uh, a uh, uh, shop first thing first it's gonna uh, uh, pump up your critical rate uh, right away 16% and when the enemy uh, reaching 50% or less it's gonna be uh, add up more 16 percent and when it's uh defeat the enemy there is 40 percent attack increase so you can just attack a minion first after you de uh, de defeating the minion you can uh, go to the boss and uh repeat like that repeat again and again and again this one is really really uh good against boss or in general I, I, I don't have anything to add up for this one, but if you only using top as for big big enemy, I totally recommending you just using sword play. So sword play, the stat is gonna be less than the the five star one, but generally this one is better man, especially against boss. So I think that's it. I will not uh, saying too much. So thank you so much for everyone who watching this video. If you like this kind of content, you can go to the panglima page. In there, you can find all of my social media and how to support me. So that's it. Thank you so much. I will see you again in the next, uh, maybe a uh, light corn for uh, Gwena event. So see you again next time. Bye.